What's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. So today, thanks to the guys at Brazen, we're taking a look at their Phantom Elite gaming chair. Funnily enough, I am sitting on it, so shortly I will have to get off of this and show you what it is. But a little bit about the background first. Now Brazen are a UK based company and what I am sitting on is meant to be a completely UK designed gaming chair. Now this is the Phantom Elite. It is a pleather gaming chair, priced at about £130. I will put some links down below as to where you can buy one. And, well, what can I say? It is a fairly typical gaming chair. Uh, we do have a little bit of adjustment. We can go down, we can go up, we can sort of tilt back and we can recline back and things like that. But I think what I need to do is I need to get off of this chair and show it to you. So let's get off the chair and have a look. So as I said, this is the Brazen Phantom Elite. Now, as you see, I got off of the chair just so that you guys can have a look around it all. Uh, I have put it together already and it is simple. Basically, read the manual, follow the instructions. Everything that you need is included in the box. They even include an Allen key and screwdriver. So you don't actually need to find any tools. I thought that was quite handy, especially as this is really aimed at people that quite possibly don't have them already. So having it in the box means you don't need to worry about that. So the Phantom Elite, I must admit there is, ah, there we go, there it is. There is one thing missing, put it the right way around. It does come with a lumbar cushion, it does come with a headrest. I despise lumbar cushions, I tried a few different ones, never get on with them, but it does just sit in with straps around and you can slide it up and down. I just don't like them. So the chair itself, my first opinions of it was, it was quite well put together. Quite well, not amazing build quality, but quite well. It's all nicely stitched. There's no sort of holes, bits missing. The brazen branding on it is incredibly good. Uh, this is, like I said, this is the yellow and black version. So we've got a yellow checker stitch here. We've got some yellow lines, perforated leather on the sides for some breathability. Pleather though, if you are very hot, doesn't breathe too well. So I have, me personally, I've got a fabric chair. Um, pleather's not my first choice, shall we say, normally, but I, it's, it's actually been all right. It's absolutely cooking here in England at the moment, and I've not found myself sticking to it too much. So what does it actually do? Now, it's a relatively standard sort of car racing styled gaming chair. It does obviously have a couple of armrests, which do actually go up and down. I do find that their highest isn't really quite high enough for me, but my Nitro one really is pretty much the same. They do also go inwards and outwards. There is only two, op uh, three options though. You've got in, middle and out. There's no other options. And they do wiggle a little bit when there's a, when they are still locked. But they've got most of the movements that you need. They go up and down, they rotate. They don't go backwards and forwards. It is missing that adjustment. They do actually have five nice big casters on the bottom. And I found that even on my nice thick carpet, it still rolls relatively well. Over on the other side of the chair, we do have a little lever here, which if you push in, locks it, you pull it out, it then reclines and it also goes up and down with this. It does have a half decent amount of range movement and uh, yeah it was quite well. Like I said, the plastics on it are a bit cheap. My one is it did unfortunately get damaged in transit, just a bit of damage to the plastics. Um, I do believe mine was actually a, an open boxed one and wasn't quite packaged correctly. Um, and it does, as I mentioned before, recline. You simply pull the lever and it goes forward, you pull it back. Um, do be careful, if you're not, if you haven't got your back on it and you pull it, it does ping. I did find that out, but they all do that. What did I actually think of it? Now this is a 130 pound chair and you always need to bear that in mind. It does have a few shortfalls. The, they rattle a bit. They don't go backwards and forwards, but they are sculpted, which compared to the completely flat ones on my nitro I do actually prefer because it your arms sit in it quite nicely it's relatively well built the only squeaking you get is yourself squeaking on the pleather I think at 130 pound it's not a bad buy actually when they said because I'd never really heard of them and in the UK it's more of a it's 
like an Argos brand. They're not really well known in the gaming industry. But actually, if you were looking for a budget gaming chair, it's actually quite good. It's quite comfortable. There's a decent amount of padding. It is all foam. It does come with like the lumbar support, the neck cushion, things like that. It does have all the movements that you need. Quite bouncy. Um, you can adjust that actually. Underneath there is a big knob. You turn it, that stiffens or slackens off the adjustment, shall we say, for the lean back. Now I do, I must admit, I like to sit there and sort of bounce when I'm playing around and things like that. And this was quite good. Um, so what I'm going to do, that's really about it for today. It's just a quick look over at the Brazen Phantom Elite. I didn't bother putting a video up of how to assemble it because... Read the manual, guys. Favourite saying of mine, RTM, read the manual. It's not brain surgery, literally, it's pictures. Nice and simple, I think there was like six, six stages. You assemble the bottom bit, you assemble the top bit, you put the two together, you put the arms on, job done. Not hard. So I didn't bother doing that because I thought, you can all read the manual, it is nice and simple to put together. But I actually quite like it. Now I'd love to say this will be staying in the studio. One small problem, it's black and yellow. My theme is black and blue. If it was a blue one, I think we'd have a second chair for the studio. But it doesn't quite go with the theme. But it won't be leaving the house. It will be staying here because I do really like it. It is nice and comfy. It's quite good to lounge on. I could actually sit here and watch a film. So yeah, I might actually, it might be, well, in my studio I do also have, um, it's out of sight, but I do actually have a bit of a home cinema set up over to the other side with a nice big TV set of like 7.2 surround sound, things like that. So I may actually replace one of my current beanbag sofas with this because it is nice and comfy. That is about it then guys today. This is the Brazen Phantom Elite. I'm going to put some links down below as to where you can buy one. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. Well, yeah, it is a two thumbs up. It's a £130 chair. I love my Nitro 300. It is a better built chair. It does have a few more features and things. But at the end of the day, this is half the price nearly. Now, Brazen were nice enough to send it over to me. I do have to say a big thank you to them. There we go, guys. That is the UK designed Brazen Phantom Elite gaming chair. If you want to support a British company, check the links down below. Grab yourself one. Nice budget gaming chair. Big thumbs up. That is all for today, guys. So if you've liked this video, do give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. Not a problem. As always, any comments, questions, suggestions, leave it down below. I always try and take the time to answer them all. And if you want to see more of me, click the little subscribe button, click the little notification bell, because I do put a video up every single Saturday at 6pm. That is about it for today, guys. Thank you very much, and see you all again soon.